La ricetta di pizza margarita. Ingredientes per la pasta. 900 grammi di farina. 30 grammi di lievito di birra. 5 dice liter di l'acqua. 10 grammi di sale. Per il condimento. 800 litro di olio extra virgine di olivia. 400 grammi di mozzarella. Foglie di basilico. 400 grammi di polpa di pomodoro. E il sale. Inventa a Napoli in orere della prima regina di Italia, la pizza margarita. E il trionfo della gastronomia Italia nel mondo. Su un piano di legno e di marma disponete la farina a fontana con al centro ardigiati il lievito il sale e l'acqua tipida. Facendo attenzione a na fare venire a diretto contatto il sale e il levito. Lavorate energicamente l'impasto per 15 o 20 minuti con le mani o in, al internavita nella planetaria fino ad ottenere un composto sovise ed omogeneo. Una volta ottenuta la giusta cosentia, eventualmente aggiungendo un po' di acqua o un po' di farina. Modellate l'impasto dangioli la forma di una palla. Copriatela con una bacinello di plastica in modo che non venga a diretta conato con gli ari. E fatelo lievitare per 3 o 4 ore a temperatura ambiente o per cerca un'ora in un luogo tiepido. La pizza margarita. La banana. Il ball. To roll up into a nice ball. Ooh. Feels so cool. Yeah. yeah, get a close up of that. Get a close up of me Just rubbing the dough. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good ball. I think so. So now, see this ball over here? Put it on top. flower dust on me. Now he puts it over here and it says put it next to the stove with a temperature for one hour. So this is going to be fun. Which way do I go? Ah, there we go. Let's just set that to high. And we need vent fan. Ah, vent fan! And we'll just keep that there and there and we wait an hour. <laughs> Una volta che l'impasto sarà raddoppiato di volume, ricevatene sei paniti modellatili in forme scheverci. Copriati con un foglio di pellicola alimentare e fateli lievitare a temperatura ambiente per un piau di ore o in ambiente per un piau di ore o in ambiente per circa 45 minuti. Quando anche i panetti saranno raddoppiati di volume, preparate la polpa di pomodoro, versandola in una ciotella e condendola con un pizzico di sale e un di olio di olio. Ok, so 
we need to see this tomato. What we just said was add the salt. Whoosh. Ew. Blech. And add this this um olive oil. Ew. 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 That looks disgusting. Uh -uh. Who would ever eat this? And now I'm just gonna mix it just for a safe measure. <laughs> That looks, this looks absolutely disgusting. I don't know who would eat this. Only Italians would eat this. That's a pretty low standard. Ew, ew. Why is the olive oil is hanging out at the top? The heck, all right, whatever. I think that's good. I think this is a good mixture. I also need to roll the pizza into its shape. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. Ah, all right, stop moving. Stop, stop. There we go. That's how you do it. Here, like this too. Ugh. Ah. All right, come on, pizza. Work better. Lavarate quindi i panetti a piantandoli uno per volta con la dita fino ad ottenere de dishu pisciotto sottili. Spalmente quindi con un mesolo o un cucchiaio a pizza con una cucchita sufficiente di pomoro. Quindi postare gelata di mozzarella ben giocchiola e sminuzata quarantiella con qualche foglia di Basilico e fatta cucare in forno gio calda a cerca 200 de degrees per 5 e 6 minuti. Una volta pronta, sfornarte la pizza, guarnitela ulteriormente con de basilico e un filo di olio a crudo e servitile immediatamente. Ecco la pizza margarita. Here we go. Time to spread everything on here. Let's get this. Tomatoes, ew. Let's get it on there though. It's disgusting, but whatever. I don't really want to pour all of it on because then I'll probably get all over my counter. You know? Ah, uh, no! Stay up! Stay up here! Don't go down! Stupid, stupid tomato. Alright, you know what? Whatever. It'll cook with some of it going off the side. I don't care that much. It's gonna have some good crust, though, let me tell you. It's gonna have some good, some good crust. <laughs> um. So the sauce doesn't have to be perfect, and you know what? I think that's like a good amount. So now, we move on to cheese. Here's here's half, well, just like half a cup, not half of the cheese. Ah! Spread this around. Let's get this cheese on here too. Oh yeah! Cheese. Hey. Did someone cut the cheese? I heard it. I know you did. Now I smell it. I bet it was you, Anto Anthony Fricasso. I bet you cut the cheese. Okay. Well, now that we have cheese on here, now that we have some cheese, you know what happens next? Basil. Here's our basil. Here it is. Perfectly cut by me. We have basil to be spread all over this pizza margarita. <laughs> this looks disgusting. This is great basil. Do not say it looks disgusting. You're gonna have to eat this, so. Shit. <laughs> Look, basil's good. Especially when it's not actually basil. Trust me, I know. I don't, I, I don't think that's basil. Yo, are you questioning Gordon Ramsay, right? 
and those are the toppings. All right, we have the oven preheated to 450. It's supposed to be 425, but we went a little over. And we also moved the pizza onto there because the the plate's ceramic. So my dad said didn't want it to break. So we move this into this preheated oven, which is blowing hot air in my face. It is not fun. And now you let it cook for six to seven minutes. Now it has been six to seven minutes, so it's time to take this out of the oven. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's not done. <laughs> I think we need to wait a little bit longer, boys. So I'll keep you waiting. Alright, we are back like a couple minutes later. And we don't care if it's not done anymore. We're just taking it out and going to eat it. Let's get these little glove mitts on. So I don't burn myself. Right, come here. Come here, you pizza margarita. Wait a second. This is really puffed up. <laughs> this needs to go in the sink real quick. Forgot. Ah, I need a mat. I forgot about the mats, boys. Yeah. Here. I hope. I hope that doesn't burn anything. Turn that off. And hey, it's our pizza margarita. So let's give it a little bit to cool. Now, now that it's cooled a little bit, that our puffy stay puff pizza. Let's um, let's cut it. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave it into four slices. Hey Antonio, which piece do you want? That one. This one? Yeah. Okay. I think it's stuck. No, it's not. Get up. Oh my god, it's burnt to the thing. It's burnt to the thing! <laughs> <laughs> take, just take, take the camera, take the camera. Take the camera, take the camera. <laughs> it's literally burnt to the tin foil. Hold up. Oh, I got away. <laughs> what the fuck? It broke! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it fucking broke. Give me the knife. Give me the knife. A fork, whatever. Here, hold this. Dude. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dude, just stop. Just cut it. Just cut it. I'm done. Oh my god, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. You ready to eat your pizza margarita, Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Terrible! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I don't even know if it's healthy to digest this. How is it? It's terrible. It's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Why did it happen? <laughs> no. See, Italian food's disgusting.
Never make pizza when you don't know how to cook. <laughs> Never. <laughs> All right, my, my taste test on my beautiful pizza margarita. Margar <laughs> It's alright, I guess. My first pizza, alright? Don't judge.